Good morning and welcome to Today in Parliament. I'm Tracy Shilshi and here are today's headlines. Short duration discussions slated in Rajya Sabha over reported scams in some public sector banks. Upper House to also discuss failure of banking regulators to check frauds. Discussion on banking irregularities also slated in Lok Sabha. Reports of department-related parliamentary standing committee on health and family welfare, home affairs, human resource development and social justice and empowerment in Rajya Sabha. Calling attention to matter of urgent public importance in Rajya Sabha, Chunni Bhai Kanji Bhai Gohil will call attention of the Minister for Strategic Storage of Crude Oil and Petroleum Products in the country. And two bills for consideration and passing in Rajya Sabha, Motor Vehicles Amendment Bill 2017 and State Bank Repeal and Amendment Bill 2017 to be moved. Discussions are slated in both Houses of Parliament today on alleged banking irregularities. Day three of the second half of the session on Wednesday saw multiple adjournment in both Houses. In Rajya Sabha today, a short duration discussion is slated on reported scams in some public sector banks and the failure of the banking regulators to check them. Rajiv Chandra Shekhar, Naresh Gujral, Anil Desai, Harivansh, Rupa Ganguly and R.K. Sinha will be taking part in that discussion. In Lok Sabha, discussion on irregularities in the banking sector is also slated for today. The discussion is slated to be raised by N.K. Premachandran of the Revolutionary Socialist Party and K.C. Venugopal of the Congress. Leaders will raise the issue of alleged systemic irregularities in the sector over the years and its impact on the Indian economy. The discussion will be held under 193, rule number 193 that does not entail voting. For more on what to expect in the day ahead in Parliament, we've got our senior correspondent Vinay Dixit joining us from uh, there. Uh, Vinay ji, uh, firstly, of course, uh, away from, of course, parliamentary affairs, uh, one big topic which has been in the past three days is, of course, the Andhra issue. And yesterday we did see, of course, uh, what, what the TDP eventually decided to do to pull out two of the ministers from uh, the centre. Uh, give us a sense of whether that is going to be reflected largely in today's proceedings. I think, uh, Silchi, this is going to be a very uh, busy day again for Parliament uh, if uh, the happenings outside the Parliament would uh, be affecting the working of the House. Truly, whatever is happening outside the TDP, uh, two ministers are being withdrawn and uh, one must not forget, Mr. Chandrababu Naidu was once the convener of the NDA. It's a very important ally. Now he is taking one step by one step uh, in a, towards towards a final divorce against uh, the NDA as of now. So that is going to badly affect the working and the smooth functioning of Parliament. Today is Thursday, a very important day for Rajya Sabha, uh, wherein uh, during the question hour, the Prime Minister's uh, it's a Prime Minister's day. Uh, his uh, departments are also. Uh, listed the questions are listed for his reply it's a very important day as I said happenings outside the Parliament is going to reflect very uh, effectively here the working uh, will be I mean if the working is allowed uh, there is a very packed agenda hmm. four to five uh, different uh, ministries uh, are listed to table their reports as many as 12 departmental related standing committee reports will be tabled there's a, a short duration discussion listed there's a uh, uh, NDA agenda, which is uh, to, to discuss the banking uh, scam. And now, these are the uh, list which uh, normally is taken up after the post-lunch session. But yes. in the first half, uh, that is when uh, the happenings outside Parliament would reflect, if at all, hmm. the uh, working is, uh, is, is, is smooth or not. All Tracy. right. We'll have to wait and see, of course. But Vineet, you do mention that the Prime Minister, of course, is going to be present, being a Thursday, is going to be present in Rajya Sabha. And, of course, a discussion slated on the banking fraud cases that we are seeing. Uh, and one demand that has been of the opposition, especially the Congress, is of the PM statement, especially on the PNB fraud case. Do we see any kind of reflection of that when the pre Prime Minister does uh, speak in Rajya Sabha today? If at all uh, there is uh, working in the parliament, if at all the legislative business is taken up, if at all there is no ruckus or disruptions in the house, there are too many ifs. Uh, Prime mm. Minister has arrived in parliament a short while back. 
He is also supposed to go out of Delhi to attend a meeting in Rajasthan. Yes. But he is here uh, in, in Parliament. His, uh, this is Thursday, as I said. His uh, questions are listed. His department's questions are listed uh, from 12 noon onwards. And uh, he makes a point to attend. But provided if there is a smooth functioning of Parliament, the happenings of Andhra Pradesh uh, politicking and the turmoil which is happening outside is bound to affect the smooth functioning. Tracy? Absolutely. We'll have to leave it there. Thank you so much, Vineet, for joining us on those details. Uh, and like you say, of course, the, 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 the things that, of course, take place, uh, the occurrences that are taking place outside Parliament has been reflected for the past three days inside the Houses as well, in both Houses, in fact, of Parliament. We'll wait and see what eventually takes place today. But talking about what business, of course, is likely to take place in the Upper House, in Rajya Sabha, there will be a calling attention to a matter of urgent public importance. Junibai Kanjibai Gohil will call the attention of the Minister of Petroleum and Natural Gas on the need for strategic storage of crude oil and petroleum products in the country. Staying with the Upper House, AIDMK MP A. Navneet Krishnan will initiate a discussion on the working of drinking water and sanitation ministry today. Members will put forth their views on the functioning of the ministry during the debate. And at the end of the debate, Union Minister Uma Bharti will be giving a reply. Also in the Upper House, there will be a discussion on the working of the Ministry of Culture. A member of the Opposition Congress Party will be raising the discussion on the work of the Ministry. In Rajya Sabha, there will be a discussion on the supplementary demands for grants 2017-18. Finance Minister Arun Jaitley will table the statement showing the supplementary demands for grants 2017-18 in the Upper House. And Transport Minister Nitin Gadkari will move the Motor Vehicles Amendment Bill 2017 in the Upper House. The bill amends the Motor Vehicles Act 1988 to address issues such as third-party insurance, regulation of taxi aggregators and road safety. The bill is important due to radical changes in the law which is as old as 30 years. It proposes high penalties for various traffic offences, three-year jail term for parents of minor drivers causing fatal accidents and a tenfold increase in compensation for families of accident victims. For deaths in hit-and-run cases, the bill proposes for the government to provide a compensation of 2 lakh rupees or more to the victim's family. Currently, the amount is just 25,000 rupees. The minimum fine for drunk driving has also been increased from 2,000 to 10,000 rupees in the bill. And Finance Minister Arun Jaitley will also be moving the State Bank's Repeal and Amendment Bill 2017 in Rajya Sabha. The bill seeks to repeal the State Bank of India Subsidiary Banks Act 1959, the State Bank of Hyderabad Act 1956 and amend the State Bank of India Act 1955. It also aims to make rational use of resources made available by the merger of these banks, leading to a reduction in costs and increase in bank profits. Lok Sabha has passed the bill. Reports of department-related parliamentary standing committees will be presented in Rajya Sabha today. Ram Gopal Yadav, Jairam Ramesh and Vikas Mahatma will present the reports of parliamentary standing committees on health and family welfare. P. Chidambaram and R. Rahman Khan and Shamsher Singh Manhas will present the reports of, standing parli the, of the parliamentary standing committee on home affairs. S. Jatia and Pratap Singh Bajwa will be presenting the reports of parliamentary standing committee on human resource development. Chaya Verma and Ram Kumar Verma will be tabling this Parliamentary Standing Committee report on social justice and empowerment. And in Lok Sabha, there will be a discussion and voting on demands for grants under control of the Ministry of Railways for 2018-19. Discussion and voting will also be held on demands for grants under control of the Ministry of Agriculture and Farmers' Welfare for 2018-19. Finance Minister Arun Jaitley will also present a statement on the supplementary demands for grants the fourth batch for 2017-18. And the following questions will be raised by members in Rajya Sabha. Rita Brata Banerjee will ask the Minister of Women and Child Development whether the government is aware that West Bengal government has launched the Rupa Shri scheme to empower adolescent girls through which they would get 25,000 rupees as one-time assistance at the time of their marriage after attaining the age of 18 years. Sukhdev Singh Dhinsa will ask the Minister of External Affairs the details of complaints registered by Punjabi women against NRI husbands who have deserted them as on date.
Dilip Kumar Tirki will ask the Minister of Housing and Urban Affairs whether the government has devised any futuristic strategy to tackle frequent urban flooding in different parts of the country. A.K. Selvaraj will ask the Minister of Human Resource Development whether it is a fact that one-year training for those who want to teach in higher technical institutions is proposed to be made compulsory. Prabhat Jha will ask the Minister of Planning whether the government has taken several policy measures for poverty alleviation during the last three years. Questions will also be asked to the Ministry of Development of Northeastern Region, Heavy Industries and Public Enterprises, Public Grievances and Pensions and Tribal Affairs. That's all we have for you today in Parliament. After a break, do stand by for Parliament proceedings.